Court has ordered an immediate police investigation into the gun attack on the former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Mr Khan was shot in the leg last week when he was leading a march towards Islamabad. He accuses the current Prime Minister, the Interior Minister and an Army General of plotting to assassinate him. Let's take you live now to Islamabad. We can join our correspondent Fahad Javad who is there. Fahad, why has it taken so long for the Supreme Court to announce this investigation? The attack happened on Thursday. Uh, yes, you see, um, it has it hasn't taken long for the Supreme Court to announce this, uh, but basically it was more of a delay in registering a first info information report with the police. Uh, so in Pakistan, uh, the police has to register a first investigation report before starting any investigation into any incident. So there was a delay there. Uh, uh, there was a deadlock when uh, we heard reports that Imran Khan was. Uh, he was refusing to withdraw name of a military senior military a senior intelligence officer uh, whom he is also uh, blaming uh, and accusing uh, for uh, for plotting against him to to murder him uh, others name, names include prime minister of pakistan and also the interior minister so there was this deadlock and um, uh, uh, the police inspector general also said that he won't work as, a, as an IG in Punjab province. Uh, today, Supreme Court, while hearing another case about Imran Khan, uh, this uh, this whole uh, thing came up and then Supreme Court ordered police to register a first information report within 24 hours or it says that it would take a sumoto notice. So, so basically it was a delay on the part of Supreme Court but there was a delay in the process with the police uh, and police say that there was um, there was some political influence that, that which was stopping them to register a first information report so, with the police. And Fahad, we know that the this long march they're calling it to Islamabad is restarting again tomorrow. What kind of crowds are they expecting and will Imran Khan be taking part? So Imran, uh, since Imran Khan was wounded uh, last week, uh, uh, when when he was when there was this attack against him, um, Imran Khan was in hospital and he was discharged yesterday. And uh, they had they had announced that they would resume their long march from from the same place where he was shot in the leg. Uh, he said that they would start it tomorrow, but just a few uh, few hours ago, there one of the one of the one of the leaders of his party announced that it would start day after tomorrow. Uh, from the same place, but Imran Khan would, would not be present in person and he said that he would most probably be doing all the video speeches that he had been doing earlier as well uh, and he said that he would join the the crowd when it would be about to enter Islamabad and it would take uh, you know, between 10 to 14 days for Imran Khan to join the long march. They do expect a lot of, they do expect, Imran Khan is very popular here, so they do expect quite large crowds in, in, uh, during this long march, but we have to see that whether uh, uh, usually these crowds gather when Imran Khan himself is present there, so we have to see whether this time there would be uh, there would be similar number of people uh, joining him uh, when he is not there. Okay, so, that's very good to get uh, your thoughts there and confirming actually the march will be starting again on Wednesday, not tomorrow as we've been told. Thank you so much.